Today I'm going to show you a Mac haul. I went to the Mac Pro store in Orlando. It's one of the top Mac stores in the country. It's amazing. I went there last year and it was it was great. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm sure you guys can guess one category of products I definitely picked up, which is lip products. So let's go ahead and start off with them. First I'll go with what I'm wearing is Candy Yum Yum. This is the newest addition to the permanent line of MAC lipsticks. So Candy Yum Yum, oh my gosh, it is amazing. Literally the most gorgeous hot pink you will ever come across. And it's a matte, which I like even more. But it's so comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel drying. Um, I've worn it twice so far and it's not dry at all. It feels really nice on the lips. It's neon. It's neon. And what I have under it is MAC Slip Liner in Magenta. I've wanted this also for so long. I've been eyeing this since about December, November. And I mainly wanted this for Candy Yum Yum, um, Show Orchid, which is another one I have, some of the Maybelline Vivids like Hot Plum and the Fuchsia one from them. I also figured I could use this, and also under pink lipsticks, which I'll go into in a second. So the next lipstick that I got, I got through Back to Mac, which if you recycle six products from them, so um, I did four eyeshadows, a makeup wipes, and a little cleanse off oil then you get a free lipstick and at the Mac Pro store that I went to you can get a free lipstick, a free eyeshadow, or a free lip gloss. That's at any Mac Pro store. So I was like, okay, I'll wait, recycle my back to Mac stuff when I get there because I might want an eyeshadow or a lip gloss. But let's be real. You guys knew I was going to get a lipstick. So I got Angel and this is a frost finish. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like frost finishes, but this is an exception. It doesn't look frosty on the lips, it just looks creamy. I think this should be a cream sheen, but it does have some frost, it just doesn't look frosty on the lips. Next lipstick I got is Hot. This color is also something that I've wanted for a little while, and this is Max Lady Danger. Like I said, where I live, I only have a counter, the pro store's far, so I took advantage of getting all the ones that they had there. Lady Danger is a fire orange red. It is absolutely stunning, and you guys know I love my reds. I love, love reds. So I thought, why not? And this again is a matte. I love matte finishes for bold colors. So this is going to be hot for spring and summer. So moving on, I got a few face products. The first is one that the amazing Jaclyn Hill recommended. If you don't know who she is, you're living under a rock. You need to go check her out and subscribe. I'll link her down below. She's amazing. She works at MAC, so I think that's why I've been like on a MAC craze lately because I always watch her videos and I'm like, I need that in my life. So the thing I got first is the Shaping Powder. It's the Pro Shaping Powder in Emphasize. This is just a, I got the refill to put in my palette. This is a matte white powder that you can use under the eyes or to highlight certain features of the face. The reason why I wanted to try this is because I love that bright under eye look. I have the Ben Nye Banana Powder, which I like. It doesn't make my concealer crease, it still keeps the area bright, but it's not bright enough for me. Sometimes I want that extra highlight, like when I'm going out or I just want to look extra done up, I want that extra highlight under the eyes because I love that bright under eye. I got the Pro Sculpting Cream from MAC. This is in Coffee Walnut. These aren't available online. Don't ask me why because they need to be. This looks kind of scary in the pan. It's like a greenish gray with a little bit of brown undertones, right? Who would ever buy this? I think the girl kind of thought I was crazy for wanting this because it was gray. But gray is going to cast a more natural shadow, and I love to contour. I have this on with a little bit of bronzer now, and it is amazing. But it blends. It looks like skin. I could wear this with foundation, and it looks like I have a natural contour to the face. You can't tell you have bronzer on. You just get that natural definition. So I know I'm going to love this. So the last two things I got were from a CCO in Orlando. For those of you that are new or don't know what it is, it's a cosmetics company outlet. You can Google it. See if there are any near you. I don't know all the locations, but you can Google it. And basically they have all the Estee Lauder brands for 15 to 20% off. So Estee Lauder, MAC, Clinique, Bobbi Brown, and Bumble Bumble, Smashbox, a few other things. And they have limited edition products and overstock. So mainly I shop there for MAC. I have one where I live, but the one in Orlando on Vineland Avenue is the best CCO I've ever been to. And I only got two things. I was good. So the first thing I got... A lipstick what do you know um, I picked up snob 
This is one of those that I've been eyeing for a little while, and it was something I wouldn't run to go get, but since it was discounted, I was like, okay, I'll try it out. So, this is what Snob looks like. It's a very cool toned pink, and I know with a lot of MAC lipsticks, they look very similar in the tube, like a lot of the pinks do, but they look completely different on the lips. This is a satin finish, but I find it to be... It feels more like a matte. So the last thing I got is something that I've never heard of, never seen, I don't know what collection it's in, but after doing a little bit of research, it's from a collection a few years ago, I don't, I can't remember what it was called. What I got is the Metal X Cream Shadow. This is in Venetian Tarnish. And all of them were cracked, like all of them that were there, which is okay, because it's kind of like... It's a little bit more creamy than the L'Oreal Infallible shadows. They're not quite as creamy as a paint pot or a color tattoo. And so the cracks should just go over. But this is what it looks like. How gorgeous. So that's all for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I've been going MAC crazy lately. I feel like that's all I've been talking about. I have this, and then in my March favorites, I know I mentioned quite a few MAC products, but I go through my phases, and I'm not loyal to any brand, but there are some brands that I love specific products that I'll go to. With MAC, they're my go-to lipstick brand. If I'm feeling down and I want to buy a lipstick, I'll go to MAC because it's just my favorite lipstick brand ever, but some of these products were just stuff that I've really been wanting. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!